still on the first part here, introducing the Ichimoku Kinko Hio indicator. And the Ichimoku in under the Ichimoku Kinko Hio element, it is time to take a look at the Kinjun. So what it is the Kinjun, the Kinjun line? Well, in order to keep it simple and to keep it visible, the Kinjun line is the blue line here. Sometimes it is being called Kinjun, sometimes Kijun. Uh, it depends very much on uh, on where are you are you uh, reading about about the line, the Kinjun line, and this is by far more important than Tenkan, as it takes into consideration more periods, basically more candles. Twenty six, yes, you've heard you've heard right. There is no mistake. 26 periods. Now the King June it is calculated but taking the highest high and the lowest low from the past 26 periods and the result is divided by 2 and there you go you have the value for the King June. So how this King June is being treated so if this is the actual price 26 periods from uh, from this moment projected to the downside to the, to the left side here so let's Let's clone this, this line. So 26 periods projected. 24, now 25, 6, right here. So the highest high and the lowest low. This is the lowest low here. The lowest low is 131.04. The highest high is having a value of 131.70. 130, uh, 3189. So averaging the lows, and there you go, you have the value for the Kinjun. Basically, you have the, the average for the whole range, and because it is referring to a longer period than the Tenkan, it is by far the more important. The general interpretation is um, that this is a confirmation line and it is treated as support or resistance for current price because of its characteristics it can be used as a trailing stop line depending the trading strategy involved like mentioned earlier it is more important than tenkan and it is acting as an indicator of future price movement if price is higher than than uh, than the kinjun then the expectations are it will continue to climb higher with the opposite being true as well. If price is below the Kim Jun line, then it should continue to drop. Now take a look here, going back a bit in, a bit in history, this is a one hour chart. So as long as price is staying below the Kim Jun, the trend continues. If the Kim Jun is moving to the downside, remember what it means. It means the averaging between the highest high and the lowest low and the lowest low for the past 26 periods, in this case the past 26 hours, so this average is moving to the downside and there you go keeping pressure on the whole uh, on the whole price the kinjun or the blue line like mentioned earlier is sometimes being viewed as a lagging line and the further the price from it the stronger the trend a strong trending environment indicated by the ichimoku should be characterized by a by a bullish uh, in, a, in, a, in the case of an uptrend, for example, or a bullish trend should be characterized by, let me try to identify a bullish, a bullish trend on the one hour chart here. So should be characterized by a green cloud, like you see the cloud here. The Tenkan line should be above the Kinjun line, so the Tenkan here is above the Kinjun, the red above the blue. Chinko should be above the price, so Chinko is above the price in the cloud here in the free zone. And actual price, the actual price, should be above both Tenkan and Kinjun. So this is a bullish, a bullish setup. This is a bullish setup. This is a bullish environment. In a bearish environment, in the case of a downtrend, strong trending environment is indicated by Tenkan line being below the Kinjun line both lines being below the cloud, Chinko below price here, and the actual price should be well below both Tenkan and Kinjun line, like here. Like mentioned earlier, the Kinjun line is by far the more important than Tenkan line, so 
once again what what is what is uh, what is being represented by the Kinjun is the 26 period the 26 period higher hi highest high and lower low average by two and there you go you have the Kinjun line because uh, because it takes into consideration a higher period of time than the Tenkan so the Tenkan takes into consideration only nine periods nine candles so because this one takes into consideration 26 candles it is being viewed more like a lagging having a, having a lagging characteristic when referred when compared with the Tenkan but uh, it is by far offering the most uh, the most powerful support and resistance area than the Tenkan Dao but that will be seen will be seen on uh, on the next recording and that one should come in uh, in a couple of minutes and we'll take a look at the Kim June how to be used